Daniel Parmeter, Russell King Jr., and Demetrius Hewlin. Northeast Ohio continues to pray for three lives lost in the Chardon shooting and for the two other students still recovering from their injuries. Good evening, I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Chris Flanagan. As Chardon begins the long process of healing, some of the victims' families are now speaking out publicly about their terrible losses. During an exclusive interview with ABC News' Good Morning America, Demetrius Hewlin's mother described her son while gently holding a Bible as only a mother could. Demetrius was loved, and he was a loving, kind, huggy, kissy mommy's boy. Yeah, you know, he was a real kind person. He was sweet. And that is exactly how Danny Parmator is remembered. He was just the best son. While wearing shirts with their son's picture, Danny's mom and dad talked about how special he was. Danny was a, a very funny, outgoing, uh, lovable kid. And I, I'm really just not saying that because I'm his father. Um, but he really was. And, and he did touch a lot of people's hearts. Um, he didn't have a mean bone in his, in his body. He, he really didn't. As this home video shows... Let's go, girls. Danny had a playful side and loved playing in water. One of the things he loved to do a lot, he loved to swim. He'd always be the first one in the water. The other kids would get out and they'd be doing stuff. Dan would still be in the water. He just loved to swim. Demetrius' mother gets some comfort knowing her son is an organ donor. She's also shown compassion for her son's killer. I would tell him I forgive him because a lot of times they don't know what they do. Because if they did, they wouldn't do it. And that's all I would have to say and just forgive them. And you can watch the entire interview with Hewland's family at our website, Newsnet5.com. And tonight we know the funeral arrangements for two of the victims. Calling hours for Daniel Parmador will be held from noon to 8 Friday at the Montreal Funeral Home. The funeral is Saturday at 10 o'clock at St. Mary's Church. Demetrius Hewland's visitation, that'll be Monday from 3 to 7 at the Burr Funeral Home. That's on South Street in Chardon. His funeral is Tuesday morning at 10, also at St. Mary's Church in Chardon. Russell King's arrangements are pending.